the club. You guys are really smart about this science stuff, but I know New York. And I can borrow a car from my uncle. <laughs> uh, you didn't disclose that the vehicle was going to be a hearse. It's a Cadillac. That's our first chance to see the new rebooted Ghostbusters movie. The trailer for that was just released online today. The sci-fi comedy classic first hit screens back in 1984. Now fans of the first movie are now hoping the chemistry between the new female stars will match that of the originals. CBC's Yellen Adzik is here with more on this. So on, at first glance, does it look like the original magic will be recaptured? Well, possibly even more so. Uh, well, I mean, I'm a female, so I'm a little bit biased, but really and truly what we're talking about here is a reboot that takes the silliness and the goofiness in the male perspective, perhaps, uh, somewhat, uh, in the early days, and now just completely puts that on its head, but it's still silly and it's still goofy. But just maybe, yeah, with this, this female twist and some of the jokes, I think, would really appeal to, to uh, the females out there in the audience. And we're talking about people like Melissa McCarthy, Kristen Wiig, Kate McKinnon, amazing Saturday Night Live, of course, the best Bieber I've ever seen. Leslie Jones, for me, is just the deal breaker. Here. She is so fantastic. She's the one who made the joke about the Cadillac right there off the top. And uh, we have a little bit to show you right now from the trailer that's been released. And this is Kristen Wiig. Oh, it's going to get messy. Have a watch. It's a class for apparition. That's OK. She seems peaceful. My name is Erin Gilbert, doctor of particle physics. Ah! That stuff went everywhere, by the way, in every crack. Very hard to wash off. That ghost needs a coffee. That was just, that was tough to watch. Uh, but there is a lot of slime, and uh, it, we're, you know, we've yet to see how much is really going to be uh, completely different from the reboot, but we do know that they're not acknowledging it in any way in terms of it, the story continuing. No, no, no. It's kind of a replication of the story in the sense that there's paranormal activity all over New York, and there's a business idea. Why don't we get these Ghostbusters together to try and, you know, get take care of this problem? So they're, they're really tapping into the original premise in every way. That's great. And so when you change the original cast from male to female, does the style of humor change as well? Well, I mean, you know, when you see to hear her talking about getting, you know, all the goo and slime getting in all the cracks, like there, there are some jokes that really do play well to that, to the female audience. But the the thing about this one here, according to the producer, uh, Ivan Reitman is the same person who is in on the original, is that the comedy is going to be much more physical in this, which is interesting to see considering it's all female cast. Now, Chris Hemsworth is a, is a bit of a, a male connection here because he's the one who plays the character that Annie Potts played in the original film. So when you think of those original movies, uh, it was it wasn't quite as physical as the, the the comedy and the humor that you're seeing right here. I and mean, they're hanging out of buildings. And uh, the original one with Harold Ramis and oh, there's the Annie Potts I was talking about. Yeah, um, that one. It uh, it definitely. You could see that there was action on the screen, but of course, fast forward so many years later, and we have these CGI effects that just cannot compare to back in the day. But of course, a lot can't compare to Bill Murray's face either. So I think that the bottom line here is that they were just both great in their own right. And uh, I, I think it would be fun to see what they end up doing with the whole film, especially after we've gotten a little taste from the trailer. Yeah, thanks so much, Ellen. We'll see you soon.